Yeah. Hello, I'm Six Hoopster, and as you can see, I have a box, yeah, because I just didn't have a crush. And, um, I'm gonna do the, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna, here's how this view's gonna work. I'm gonna show you some up close specs, telling you about the review. Then I'll just do like personal review, it's just me seeing it. These next specs, slash, like, yeah, just, um, features on the gun um are gonna be about are just gonna be close up with n not I'm not gonna be in it at all and then it'll become with me in it so let's get this started the magazine is a 50 or er, 50 round I guess you can say it's a high cap for spring but mid cap in other words a mid cap magazine the magazine is Plastic for the most part with two metal weights in the side. On e bike it says 30 rounds, but yeah, I guess that's about right. Or 30 rounds, and it says it's double stacked. I'm pretty sure this version's a single stacked, and it can hold like 50 rounds, but it might be 30, I'm not sure. Hope you like counting. So, this mag. Next up, you get a black and white manual it just tells you the basics about the gun it just tells you how to put on the silencer, how to shoot it, how to cock it back it tells you what you need to know to be able to work it so this is it's poor translated Chinese I guess you can say So the gun also features a detachable 30 to 50 round magazine To lower it, there, to um, take the magazine out, push down the button right here, and just pull. The gun is 18 inches long from the end of the metal wire stock all the way to the very front of the uh, orange tip. I'll give you a close-up on this. The gun features a, or the gun fires an only semi-automatic because this is a spring gun. The gun does sound bad, but can get the job done. The gun has a retractable stock. To retract the stock, simply squeeze and pull forward or squeeze and pull back if you want it all the way out. Most of the items on this gun, or most of the features on this gun is plastic, but some are metal, very few. The uh, wire stock is metal. The Basically, that's all. Um, you got some items inside the gun that will be in the internal review slash disassembly video. Um, the barrel is not a full metal barrel, but it's like aluminum type. I'm not exactly sure because I'm not like a metal freak. Um, you have the rear cross, rear sight back here located at the end of the gun. And the front sight located at the beginning, at uh, the start of the gun. It has a orange tip that has grooved ridges right along here. Attached silencer because there is a silencer version. And the gun is basically full plastic, like I said. The bolt does not move back, it just stays in one place. Next up will be my personal review of the gun. Okay, hey, Six Hoops are here now, ready to give my personal review of the gun. Um, let's just start the mag. Uh, I got mag, as I said, and the other part, plastic mag with two metal things in it. Let's get to the gun. Um, well, I haven't, I haven't taken it out to a field, because I'm not sure why I would take a spring pistol out to a field. Um, but... 
Hey, I mean, if you're just looking for a couple, if you're just looking for cheap, couple little backyard, little like spring machine pistols, I guess. Um, you can just get this, play for friends. I mean, it gets the job done. This is definitely not for professional airsofters. I, I don't even know if there's like professional airsoft sport. No, there isn't. But um, the the cock it back. It's fairly simple. I mean, you just go back. The battle review, how like sturdy it is. Uh, it's pretty sturdy. Not, I mean, it will survive you for backyard airsoft wars. Does not retract at all. Um, the grip, actually, the grip is one of the, my most favorite things. I mean, like, the grip just feels very, very nice. It's a very nice grip. Um, let's see here. What else? The um, it. The fire mode, the star selector switch doesn't work, and the fire and safety is located at the bottom of the gun. Okay, um, it has the double eagle, there we go, double eagle trademark type stuff on it. It has like two eagles, and it says M42, and it's made in China. Um, it feels pretty nice if you hold it like this, which unfortunately can't really look down the sights. If you had a retractable stock, pull it back. Very nice. But hey, if they're just looking for a replica and this gets the job done, it done it's not very good for a war or anything. I will probably have a spring pistol war in my backyard with a couple friends, cause first of all I don't want to waste my money taking to a field to see how it performs. I'm just gonna test this, or I'm just gonna take it out to a couple backyard airsoft wars, um, and just see how accurate shooting tests will be up anyways, but let's just see how good it is, okay? So basically that wraps up the personal review. If I would recommend this, if you're looking for a gun under $20, Best you can, the be, uh, you want the best gun you can get. This is definitely, maybe might be one of the top contesters. I haven't taken more out. I'm not. I mean, I don't know everything about this gun yet. I know the internal view. It definitely looks like, not really looks like, but you can see the internals look pretty good for a twelve dollar spring gun. I've only taken the top half out. The full, I guess you can call it a gearbox. I don't know what else. I mean. I don't know what you would call it since it's not an AG or sniper or whatever you want to call it. But yeah, the internals look pretty good. So um, I'm gonna wrap it up by showing you a couple like showing you like a couple pictures of the gun. I'm gonna show you first how I hold the gun. Um it feels pretty short, it has no rails for attachments at all. I mean if you you can't hold like this more of like Dual doesn't work. You definitely need AEG for this. But definitely, definitely what you're looking for if you need a replica to spend $100. It says great for backyard airsoft tours on Evike. And on Evike, it is listed as the M11A1, which basically is what this gun replicas. The M11A1. The, the M11A1 is the, basically the same gun, I think, but it has a double stack 30 round mag. So there you go. Um, I want you to tell me how good this is. Rate, comment, rate and comment, like definitely. Please do that. Subscribe to my channel. All my other videos, the videos starting them going to get better. We're all gonna be getting better. Um, yeah. So I might have like one of those. Uh, one of the. Um, there's gonna be like a couple like you know at the top. One of those things that says like. Great, and then I'm gonna show some pictures and music's gonna come up at the, come up at the end, and there's gonna hopefully the intro will be in this video. So this is Six Hoopster. Um, show you the pics now, and I'm saying goodbye.